my gut and my intelligence tells me that there is stuff which they don't want to come out. And this whole trouble actually started when we started questioning the executive very closely in relation to a number of things which they are doing. And when we asked the executive to account to us and to write to us, and this correspondence ended on the basis where the, the company secretary, uh, Welsh Guaza, wrote to me a rather impersonal letter because he was supposed to be relating to me as if I was the chairman of the board, although we were not properly invited, to say that he would regard me as a third party in this matter. Mm -hmm. So that is the extent to which they have gone to insult this new board and not to cooperate with them. So we've been asking all sorts of questions of the executive. We've been raking things up and asking them about different contracts and different things, and they don't like it because they are accustomed to doing things their own way. And that happens to some management people. And my feeling is that the council itself is being duped by the executive. Uh, I'm not sure about this, but it is my honest opinion, which I must express in the public opinion, uh, in the public interest. Yes. What happens usually is boards, the governance areas, don't know much about the day-to-day -day running of the case. And what then happens is that the executives do exactly what they want to do. And then, if they can't do what they want to do, then they play one person against each other in the various boards and so on and so on. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.